Hello guys, what is up? In today's video, we are going to show you how to stream on Facebook Live using Streamlabs. Now, this is going to be the same video, maybe tweak a little bit of the settings here and there. But what we want to do first is click on, <clears throat> before we go over everything, you click on settings. If so, then what you want to do next is click on stream, right? On stream, you're you, we're not going to, we're not going to take a look at these things we don't need any of these we don't need to log out of youtube what we want to do is click on add destination now once you click add destination it's going to say destination uh, you you will need a url and you will need a stream key but just like any other uh streaming platform so what you want to do is go to your browser and go to facebook as you can see and how do you stream on facebook you can do it on your own personal account or if you have a page and it's very easy just you know click on the status here and you're gonna see on what's on your mind where you type your status there's live video photo slash video or feeling slash activity of course you want live video so click on that and here you're going to be brought to this page it's going to be showing two options one is go live the other is create live video event so what are the differences here go live and create a live video event Pretty much the same thing. The only difference is that here you're going to be scheduling a future live stream on go live. You can go live by yourself or with others and just do it immediately. So what you want here is click on go live here and you will be brought to this next page, which will be waiting to. There you go. So here you want to get uh, a stream key and a URL. So what you want to do is click on software uh, streaming software. So click on this here. You're going to be able to get the stream key so click copy go back to streamlabs click the stream key here so that's good advanced settings so this is where you get the stream url because you might be wondering oh where it's only the stream key well you need to click this uh the advanced settings so that in the drop down you'll get to be able to get and copy the stream url which is this so click that to copy and go back to streamlabs and just put the url here and name of the destination we just say facebook right and click save and then click done so that is going to be your um facebook page uh live stream right so once you start streaming you'll be able to connect this with that once you click this button here on the lower right corner of the screen right but before we do that hmm, a couple other things pretty much the same most of it are the same. Uh, so with sources, you want an audio output capture, which is what you're going to hear on your stream. Uh, display capture, what your viewers will be able to see on your stream, whether it's a game or you're traveling, it's a travel vlog or whatever. Uh, and then audio input capture, which is going to be your microphone. Now with audio input capture, it is very important to click on the cogwheel to open the source properties here and make sure that the right, uh, the right headset or headphones or speaker is uh selected and most importantly the right microphone that you're going to be using here on the device make sure that it's the right one because most of the time it's going to be set by default just choose the one that you are using that's plugged into your computer so once that is done what you want to do next is go back to settings and you're in settings what you want to do is go to output now you, you want this to be advanced so you could just uh, tweak it the way you want. Uh, we don't need a Twitch wall because we're, this is Facebook Live. Um, <clears throat> uh, encoder should be NVIDIA. Unlock the power of artificial intelligence with Flicky AI. For a limited time, enjoy 10% off on their monthly plans. Revolutionize your workflow, streamline tasks, and boost productivity with Flicky AI. Don't miss out. Upgrade today and experience the future of automation. Link is on the description below uh, if you have a, a graphics card for NVIDIA. But if you're using integrated graphics, you want the software X264. So you will be using and be able to use the CPU of your computer. But since we are using an RTX uh, series CPU, we're going to use NVIDIA, right? Great control is CBR as always. doesn't matter what platform you, it's going to be CBR. Now with Bitrate, this is a bit odd. So with Twitch, you'd want at least 6,000. With YouTube, it's four to 6,000. With Facebook Live, oddly enough, it is very low. 
you just need 4,000. 4,000 is the max bitch rate you can get uh, for Facebook Live. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, I guess, the biggest change that we have for you in this video is the bitrate. And again, bitrate is all dependent on the internet connection that your ISP provides. So if you have a very uh, fast and consistent and stable internet connection, uh, you won't have any problems live streaming. Uh, but even if you have a very fast, like a fiber connection, you don't like 4,000 is the max bitrate you can get for Facebook Live. So maybe if you have a budget PC and your internet isn't that fast or isn't that reliable, maybe 3,000 or 2,000. But again, 4,000 is the max bitrate for Facebook Live streaming. So after that, keyframe is zero. Sometimes people make that too. Depends on your preference again. Preset is at slow, which is good quality. Tuning is high quality. Multipass is two passes or one pass. Depends on your uh, preference. Again, profile is high. Make sure that cycle visual tuning is enabled or ticked. GPU can be two, but I, I do it at zero. And then max B frames too. Uh, for audio, again, just make sure that uh, the desktop audio device is your speaker or your headphones. And your mic is the microphone that you are using that it's plugged in in your computer. And then everything else should be disabled because you don't want any unnecessary audio that might just, you know, ruin the mood, right? After that, most important is the video. So here, you want uh, 1080p for the most part. So 1920 by 1080 is 1080p, the resolution, right? So, and again, you need to make sure that the base canvas resolution and the output scale resolution is the same. You don't want it to be different. Some people make the mistake of, like, yeah, it's fine. No, it's not, right? If you want 1080p, you'd want 1920 by 1080 for your base canvas, and you want 1920 by 1080p the same with your output scale resolution because, you know, you want symmetry in that. And if not, well, you might want to scale down to 1280 by 720 if your PC is not strong enough. Uh, but again, make sure that it's 1280 by 720 on both your output and base resolution. After that, downscale filter is as Langsa's Sharpen Scaling 32 Samples. This is the best one for all platforms. Um, FPS type is common FPS values, of course. Uh, these two are not by default, so you need to ch change them and choose them on the dropdown. Uh, and then lastly, uh, common FPS values is uh, we want 60, right? 30 if you're using a budget PC, uh, but 30 is the, the, the lowest you can get, but you know. 60 is still the best and then after that click done and once you click done you can easily go live on your facebook here uh and yeah that's pretty much it that's the video hope you liked it like comment share subscribe bring that bell icon and we will see you on the next one it's out